PL, I mean, it's a special coin. Because even in the mint set, not all the coins graded PL. Right. So in other words, right. you know, only a couple of the coins and that's, hit that. Explain PL. Uh, proof like it means okay. proof like. Yep. Proof is a condition, uh, uh, not a uh, uh, as a method of manufacturing, not a condition, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a whole different ball game. So an uncirculated coin that looks kind of proof like, we grade it and call it PL. But that was why you decided to grade some of those mm -hmm. anyway, because they were proof-like, right? Yeah. That's your, it piqued your interest, is what yeah. we would say. All right, guys, so we're going to head into cool the thing. second hour with Mike Mizak. What are we doing tonight? Well, it's two hours of coin collecting. Hi, I'm Suzanne. Mike is here. Mike is one of the world's renowned coin collectors, coin dealers, one of the biggest in the world, and he's been here for a couple decades with us, just bringing us these really exciting, exciting coin shows. And we have one more hour to go tonight. And this one, okay... I totally love it when you bring something that's completely out of the ordinary. You know what this is? That's I a guess sheet, gold. A sheet of 24 karat gold. That is so cool. That is a pure sheet of 24 karat gold. So we, we print a sheet of 24 karat gold. We then have to seal it, you know what I'm saying? Right. That is the Declaration of Independence. Did you guys create this? Uh-huh. Oh my god. In gosh. pure 24 karat gold. That is so cool. An Can I entire touch it? sheet. Yeah, sure, here. It's, well, it's virtually indestructible. Oh so, he's yeah, yeah he you freaks, may touch it. He freaks me out when he does that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm always like, don't touch any of the coins. That is so, so cool. So you start with that. Okay. You get the custom book. Oh, by the way, it has this really cool, there you go, Spirit of 76, does that whole oh thing. Oh, my gosh. So you get the pure sheet of 24 karat gold. You get a $2 bill. The John Trumbull, remember the, the, the uncertain, gem bill. uncirculated bicentennial $2. You just get one. Okay. And an original what? 1976 plate block of U.S. stamps of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. This right here. And the Declaration of Independence. And this was a four stamp set. So back then, you took this and you broke these up and you used four different stamps. You can oh, see where the Oh, it created an entire picture. Yeah, yeah. You can see oh, the sure. perfs, where the perforations <gasps> are. And that's 13 an cent stamps. That's an original 1976 where plate block stamp. Where in the world stamp. did you find that's right. that? So how about that? So that's from July 4th. That's a 13 cent stamp. That'll place that in history. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that sure you're going does. to that you're going that you're going to have. And it's the four stamps together that make the plate block of the signing of the Declaration of Independence, which is this image as well on an original bicentennial two dollar note that you're going to have right there, and the 24 karat gold arum that you're going to have there. And you have the entire so cool. thing for $49.95. Okay. Okay, so what <laughs> gave you the idea of doing this combination? Was it this bill, this, or was it finding Well, these? you know, I've kind of done these in the past. Sure. I've always tried to put this together. Uh, and they're hard. But how do you get, that's 1976, oh, people, yeah, people, for gosh You know, sakes. people put stuff away. We're pack rats. Americans are pack rats. <laughs> we found a guy that had like like a thousand of them. Really? Yeah, I mean, you that's know, he's been so holding on to them for, you know, 50 years. He right. decided what, you know, who knows why. That is This so cool. is a little more, makes a little more sense. It is money. Money. Right. You, you yeah, know what sure. I'm saying? So I can sure. find these. Uh, you know, these are, you know, that's a $20 or $25 piece right there right. if you'd buy that individually. This is much, much harder that's to find. That's what I'm saying. That that's, is an cool. original, that's an original 1976 plate block of those four stamps that you're going to have right there. And then, kind of the, the, the coup de gras, the topper, if is you this. will, was the sheet of pure 24 karat gold that we had the Declaration of Independence printed that's on. That's really cool. So <laughs> you put the whole thing together, and then we put it in the fantastic presentation book. I took the sheet out of there. That goes in here, and then you have the Spirit of '76. There's a Independence Hall that you're that you're going right there. Check that out, you know. And uh, that is just going to be absolutely, truly spectacular. Who is the collector for this, or who would it make Everybody. a really neat gift to get? Americans. Yeah, like anybody, I mean, anybody. right? That's it's the so thing. Cool. This crosses over. So if you're a currency collector, we got that right here. Okay, Stamp you're a precious collector. metal collector. Yeah, <laughs> philatelist. Yeah. If you're a philatelist, you want to collect this right Excuse here. Excuse you. Let's say, yeah, <laughs> bless you. Uh, and so, uh, uh, and then you have, if you're a, a bullion collector, this is pure gold. I mean, that's a sheet of pure gold that you're going to have. And, and understand, 
it's much easier to read than what this looks like. These studio lights are kind of insane. Right. Okay, now it yeah. is written in, it's, in old stuff right there. Old but style. that's a pure sheet of 24 karat gold. How about that? That is uh, neat. That we've done. Well, Isn't I mean, that cool? Here's what I love too. I'm just a huge, huge history collector. Yeah, like, look at I that. am a huge history person. There's the signatures. There's all those guys Isn't in that, that picture. Neat? But I mean, but I love history. And I think if you want to introduce your kids to history, get them excited about history, maybe they're studying the uh, Constitution. Maybe they're studying, you know, the American history. Wouldn't this be, especially if you have a kid who's really just getting into it, how amazing would this be to give a kid for their birthday? And then the thing I like is, look at the price. It's Amazing. Now, here's the thing. You know, this is exclusive to me, okay, the declaration thing. You can find these out there that cost money. That, you know, I could have made this 69 or 79 or 89 or 99 or 129 or 149. It could have been any number. But I said, you know, I got a good quantity of the stamps, and it's not necessarily that they're terribly expensive, you know, 10 or 15 bucks or something like that, but finding them. Original, un uncanceled. These are original, unused yeah, stamps, right. okay? And then the same thing with the $2 bill. Look at, and, and then the sheet of gold for $49.95. For $49.95 in the custom album. That's great. Isn't Wait, it? okay, so here we go. Rocky, you have to repeat this. So Becca, who's our yeah. coordinator, one of our coordinators. Yeah. yeah. Eighth generation. He's on there someplace. Signed the declaration. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, Come here. Is Just, where's his name? <laughs> Come you on, should know this that. Is this is cool. Yeah, you should. Your know. great, 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 great grandpa. Eight greats. Eight greats back. Eight greats. He's which, right there someplace. John Hansen. Where's there you he go. At? He's, uh, he's, do you, I don't do know. Do you know really where he is? No. Well, you How cool is that? Looked? No. <laughs> <laughs> now we're all. Now we're actually reading this. Now there's a reason to actually read the yeah, Constitution. Yeah, there you go. Beyond knowing the. Well, thank you. That is so cool. Well, look at that. All right, John, what was it again? John Hansen. And what was he? He was the president of the. He was the fir first president of the First Continental Congress. There you go. That is so cool. All right. What state was he from? I have no clue. Okay, come on. You can't tease us with this. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, I have no clue. <clears throat> that is and, really and well, that's thank what you for that. But you know what? That, to me, that makes this come alive. There's those no kind doubt. of stories, those kind of connections. For me, if, you're try if you've got a kid who's maybe studying American history, maybe they're just now learning the Constitution, I just think this is the icing on the cake because you're giving them a highly collectible item. Absolutely. Something so unusual and unique. You can buy kids a lot of dumb stuff. Why not give them something that they really will treasure for the rest of now, their life? Now, here's the thing. It's a customer pick, right? Yeah. Oh, that's true. I, I, I've never aired it. Wait a minute. <laughs> No, it says June of okay. 2018. I don't even recall airing this. <laughs> so it's a year ago now. Wow. Was he from Maryland? By the way, you're a great, 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 great from, from Maryland. From Maryland. John, Rocky, our producer, is doing the research I don't know how right we now. find that information. Somebody's there must got, be a, Rocky, you've got to find out where his name is. <laughs> He's I mean, looking right I now. Right? Rocky will do that. We're, oh, yeah. we're going to look later. All right. That's look, you funny. can actually read the names, though. That's pretty cool. We'll try to find it later, because now we're all dying to know. Yeah, now we're all, now, now it's a thing. Uh, like you see John Hancock. There's no doubt yeah, about it. Well, he well, wanted to make whole, sure. He that wanted was to make the sure whole point even, of John You know Hancock. why? He knew some years later you were going to do this in a piece of gold. Yes, And he yes. wanted to make sure you yes, could read his name that. on that, too. Yes, yes. <laughs> no that's why he did No matter how you that. saw the Constitution, you could read John Hancock. All right, Fantastic. we're going to wrap it up, guys. I just think this is an amazing gift idea for somebody, or certainly just How about a sheet of gold, a $2 bill, and a plate block of stamps for 49 bucks and a custom album. I mean, and you know. it, these are both from 1976. That's right. amazing, actually. That cool? All right, we're going to wrap up on that. And we got a little extra history lesson. Thank you so much for your information. That was so cool. We actually are going to try to find it for you guys because now we're all dying to know where his signature is on the Constitution. Are you kidding okay. me? Okay. I just this is my first time I've seen this. You haven't seen this? No. This, I'm telling you, what's really funny is I when I get ready for these shows, I don't really get ready for the shows. <laughs> <laughs> and here's why. Because some of the items that we have, literally, he's either hand carrying them or they're being flown in. Or the deal is made so close to airtime that I really don't know what the final two hours will look like when I get here. Right. And you haven't even seen this one yet. Now, because here's what happened. The United States government, <clears throat> for the Apollo 11, they did the special two-coin half-dollar set, sold out instantly. It's a huge, it's been a huge winner, a huge seller. It's been absolutely Wait, your spectacular. your first quote was, it sucked the air, the out, air of the out of the room. It, and it just, and, and the half-dollar set, we didn't even know. 
We didn't even know that the United States government made a special Kennedy half dollar that was only in the two coin Apollo set. Wow. Okay. So what happened was, is they did the curved coin. So PCGS decides to do a two coin holder. Well, they just finished it because it was a curved holder. This is a special deal. So while this coin set was released a while ago, we just now got these. Now here's the deal. So we have the special and it's first strike. So that means they've been holding these coins since 30 days with, it has to be in there within 30 days of the release of the coin. That's, to that's call months it first ago. Strike. That's months ago. Okay. We've held it till now because we finally got them. Now here's the key. So it's first strike. It's the it's the Apollo 11th 50th anniversary strike. Uh, you're going to first 50th anniversary set. This is the special unique Kennedy half dollar. It's not only unique as a Kennedy half dollar. It's unique as a coin. It's the only dual finish coin in the history of the United States government. Period. Uh, any time, any way, shape, or form that you're going to have right here. That you have this. This set completely sold out from the government. <clears throat> They're both certified 70. Mm. PCGS. Now, while this is the cool coin, I'm going to talk about that here for a little bit. This is the hard coin. <coughs> Excuse me. That half dollar, as it's curved, and of course, so this 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 holder has to be thicker than normal, okay, to hold the curved coin. You can see that it's curved just by looking. You can see that coin's flat and that coin's curved, and so they had to have a special thing there. But and no, there's a reason it's curved. And there's a reason it's curved. So it looks, that's, that's the, the face plate. Yeah, that's the face, face plate. Very famous yeah, yeah, absolutely. Isn't that, uh, that's John Glenn's uh, face plate yeah. that's sitting there. On that's his Neil Armstrong. helmet. Uh, on his helmet. You can just see it's, the, it's his helmet right there. And that's the United States of America you're going to have right there. And that's that's the, the famous reflection. It's kind of yeah. gold colored in the pictures. Mm -hmm. There you're going to have that. And then you can see the enhanced reverse proof. This is an enhanced reverse proof, uh, a Kennedy half dollar. This coin right here, in 70 condition, <clears throat> is almost impossible. Which one? This coin. You see these, I've, I've sold these sets many times before with just this coin graded 70. I don't sell the set, nobody sells the set with both coins graded, perfect proof 70 condition out of the Apollo anniversary set first strike and of course this coin only came in the two coin set this coin is rarity wise the key numismatically of course this coin is one of the most significant coins ever released by the United States government it was only released in the two coin half dollar Apollo 11 set which sold out instantly and is now selling for I don't know double triple quadruple uh, what it was originally sold for uh, with that this coin however out of that set is graded perfect 70 so it is even rarer so when I talk about this being the only because it's reverse proof enhanced so there's an enhanced uncirculated coins the United States government have made those. They've made a lot of reverse proof coins. I think 14 different reverse proof coins and seven different enhanced uncirculated coins. Actually more than that now, uh, 18 enhanced uncirculated coins. But they've never made a coin that was both. So it's unique in Kennedy half dollars. It's unique to the set, but no coin in the history of the United States government has ever been dual processed other than this. Enhanced and circulated, it's one or the other, but this is the first coin that's both. both. Now you have only the second coin that is curved ever made by the United the first States one? government. The first baseball? one was the baseball coin, that's that right, one. which we have. But the key to this is because of the curved nature of this, because of these huge open fields right here, absolutely, positively, almost impossible to get this coin in proof 70. And of all of the grading services, the one that you see the least of is PCGS, huh. okay? And on top of it, it's designated first strike. So we've been holding on to these coins forever to be able to get these coins, to be able to give them to you in the exclusive oh, so uh, two-coin so holder. So basically you're waiting to get 70s. I'm waiting to get the holder. Because it's a curved coin, they have oh, to make the holder. The special holder. Oh, okay, you got to make the holder. Right, so they've been right. holding the coins for months and months and months and months <laughs> to be able to get these things. I finally got them. Okay, we got first strike on the coins. More importantly, they're both perfect seventies. Yeah. So I can't explain. I, you know, sometimes I, I, I stand up here and like I said, I'm you know, I, I'm in the coin market every day. Right. I'm, all I do is talk to people, uh, you know, coin dealers and coin geeks, other coin guys, uh, all, all day long. That's really what I do. And it's sometimes difficult for me to express 
how hard a coin is to get if you don't do it every day, all day, every week, all month, all the years, right? right? right For 25 right. years. I mean, there's hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. And then you go, do you have any 70s of this? Do you have any 70s of that? Do you have any coins? Do you have any raw coins? Have you heard anything certified? Have you heard about this? Have you heard about that? Have you done any of those things? So uh, this one, just take my word for it. I mean, these are this, I've spent as much time calling about this coin in 70. Now understand, these coins, they've made a fair number of these coins. This coin's unique to the set. This coin is unique in American history. This coin by itself at $279.95 PCGS, first strike, is, is a pretty exceptional opportunity and a great buy at $279. But this coin is the sneaky hard coin to get there. Because I can tell you right now, because it's curved, because of the footprint, because of all of this right here. Because yeah. for a coin to be 70, it's not just that it doesn't have any, any, any you know, nicks or dings or anything like that. It has to be fully struck. So in other words, it has to have the design as it was intended when they originally did the coin. That's called strike. And you have a very and difficult well, and strike. And then all the details on a curve. Right, on a curve. And then you've got these monstrous open mirror fields that a tiniest bit of dust on the die keeps that from being 70. Wow. So you look back there. So you want to know what backstage HSN yeah. looks like right see there? See the monitors. You can see the monitors. You can see, I mean, so Cameras. anything in that mirror, anything in that any mirror. Any imperfection. Any, any imperfection little... keeps it from being 70. Right. So well, you may own a thousand of these coins, you're gonna have maybe 70 or 80 of them that end up being PR70. But as a collectible, why is it significant to get both of these in the one set? Well, because that's the, the, the anniversary set. They were released as a set by the United States government. So this is not just any of the half dollars, okay, are difficult to get. Okay. The, the uh, curved half dollar, the regular, you know, the proof half dollar, very difficult to get. But now we add to the difficulty by it being out of the two coin Apollo anniversary set right. as well, so that it matches this coin right here. So you put the anniversary set, you grade them both 50, you put them in the, uh, in the custom two coin holder with the custom label. Now they're first strike out of the first 30 days. And what you have is not only population rarity, you have, con you have a, a conditional rarity, the fact that they're both perfect, you have rarity in this, and that it's a unique coin in the history of the United States government. You have rarity in this coin because it only came in this set. It was not released anyplace else. So now you put all of those little things together and it, it's just collectible on so many levels. And like I said, I really am struggling uh, to some degree. I don't always have that problem, but on this coin to really express just how rare this coin is in PR70. Right. That's the difficult part. And then particularly PCGS. Well, let me add to that. I know exactly how many we have. Right, yeah. That's <laughs> And that's the, all of them. The, the, I have 148. Mm. I mean, that, well, I don't have, I have less than that now, but we started with 148 going into this hour. So that is, a, there's about 110 left. That is an obscure amount for what, Mike potentially can mm -hmm. put together for us to bring on the air. I mean, obscure. I think that proves how, and this is, this is absolutely brand new. It's never been on the and air. And this night. is first strike. Right. So what that means is, is, is you know, that has these have to be coins from the first 30 days of release. Right. So you get the first 30 days, you get a whole bunch of them. Then you've got to grade them both separately. Then you've got to keep waiting until you get two 70s to right. put together in a custom made case. Right, and then add in first strike that you see right here, right. and it's from this. Now understand that this coin is collectible separately. Just and by so the, so the sets are broken up all the time because this is an enhanced reverse proof Kennedy half dollar that only came out of this set is not available anyplace else any on the planet. Else. And you put all of those things together <laughs> and now all of a sudden, okay, now you got a thing. But uh, the fact uh, you only had 148 to begin with, to begin with, really I think shows you just how rare and significant that is. To me, that's the key. If I looked down at my card and said, oh, he's got five 5,000, I'd be like, well, it's pretty rare. But when you start, when Mike starts at 148, then that means it's, it was very difficult for you, obviously, to put it together. That's my signal that it took you a long, arduous amount of time to be able to pull this set off. Mm -hmm. So stay right there. We are less than 100 sets left. That's all we have. $279.95. And again, brand new for tonight's show. We've got it for you right now, but very, very limited at this point. Okay, we're going to move on, though, because we do have another one that has to do with Apollo 11. And this was kind of a big deal this year. You were talking about the government putting together so many cool releases, unexpected surprises. I know you guys knew this was coming. Uh, did you realize how big a deal it was going to be? Uh, we kind of anticipated it, I guess. Um, but it was bigger even than we thought. Yeah. 
I mean, we were just, I mean, because the government limited all these coins and, and, and did all that other stuff. Right. Uh, this is a set we made. This is our set. So what we did is we did the, the two coin set ourselves. And I did the half dollar, once again, I cannot impress upon you how difficult it is. Now this is not the half dollar of the two coin set, but this is the half dollar, but it's in 70. Right. Now I have the Native American dollar in 70 as well, a pair. In the custom box, only 586. Only 586 of these available, period. And like I said, in our first day of issue with our exclusive, you know, moon step label uh, uh, that you've got on that. And by the way, we're down to 400. Yeah, well, they only had 400. There's 400 beginning end. I've never aired this before. This is our first airing of this. Right, Even right. though it's, even though it's, it's this, and it comes, oops, sorry, in this fantastic uh, uh, presentation, the velvet presentation box that we have right here. Steel case box, isn't that So why did you put these two together? Well, I, I, I think that the half dollar one, because I, I know how difficult the half dollar is to get in 70. Sure. So I want to give everybody an opportunity to get it at an affordable level. Right. But then I wanted to add <clears throat> the second we of golden dollar that came with this is a really great collectible. So you've got uh, within that, you've got that represents kind of Native Americans um, uh, contribution to the American Space Program. Mm -hmm. That's Mary Gilda, Golda Ross that you have right there. She came up with this very elegant equation down here that uh, is the mathematical That's formula right. for leaving the atmosphere of Earth and entering the atmosphere of another planet. You can see it highlighted down in there. Right there. That, uh, yeah, right. That you're going to see uh, uh, right there. Uh, v squared infinity equals V squared. I can't see what that last one is. And, and so that's her right there doing that. That's a very elegant equation. That's There's beautiful. a rocket ship that you have right there. And there's John, uh, what's his name? Uh, John, uh, I think it's Harrington. John Harrington, the first Native American to walk in space oh, okay. is, is, who, is who that is right oh, there. Oh, wow. Uh, and so that is representative. And so I really like the, the pair. And then the juxtaposition of what you have of the gold coin, the golden coin that you're going to have here with the, uh, with the half dollar, the silver color. How did color, they release the this one? Well, that's been released in the proof set. You it know what I'm saying? And, and released the things. Now, for first day of issue for that, you know, it had to be some of those very first coins that were released out of that that the Native American uh, uh, series that you're going to have in there, right. whether it be rocket ship or you know some of the other uh, uh, very first coins that were done with this. Now we put the two together that you're going to have only 586. So these two were the not released. They together. were not released together. They were released kind of you know the, the half dollar was released first. This the uh, uh, the Native American dollar released after the fact. So both we put them together and made them a set. I thought it was a cool set with the golden color and then kind of the silver tone that you have right there of the half dollar. And then the incredible difficulty. I've had so many people say, well, how about the half dollar, Mike, the proof half dollar? And I know a lot of people have talked about it and all, but I'm having a really difficult time finding that in PR70 perfect condition. Right. Uh, and I go, yeah, I get that. I'm having a hard time getting it in PR70 perfect condition as well. And so, you know, just be able to get this. So just this coin at 124.95, uh, uh, I think it's a great price and a great opportunity. But sure. then you add in the Native American dollar. We paired them up. I thought it was a cool pair that I wanted to do. You know, we had some of these that were still first, uh, uh, you know, first day of issue eligible. These were that were still first day of issue eligible. And so I wanted to put those together and give everybody an opportunity for kind of this unique exclusive pair that we're doing right here. I think what's really extra special though is um, it ties an important story together, mm -hmm. you know, from getting to the moon to landing on the moon yeah, <laughs> and, right, getting exactly. and, and getting back and getting back mm -hmm. actually. And the fact that you s were talking about the difficulty of just finding this coin, I mean, mm -hmm. none of us regular schmoes are going to be able to find anything like this. You know what I mean? We couldn't, I wouldn't even know where to begin to be able to put this together. And by the way, I don't have enough money to grade enough coins to get those together at that grade. I do not have enough money. He does. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he can do it. I can never do right, it. Right. So I really love it that we can get these significant, special, very interesting, highly collectible coins put together in unique ways like this. Mm. And a lot of people want to get, say, this one, but this might be out of your budget. You're saying, gosh, I really do want that curved coin. It's only second one ever. And it's funny, we don't talk about the rarity of the curviness very yeah, often. Only two coins, only two curved coins ever. have ever been made in the history of so half dollars. So if you've dollars. got the baseball glove and you get this one, you now I'll have both of them, but I think this is an affordable no, way the baseball, to get your you know, the baseball half and proof 70, you know, I don't know that you can find that Where for 124.94. Yeah, really? I don't know. Yeah. Good luck finding them. So, I mean, here's your, here's your way to get a unique coin, to get a curved coin, to get a perfect curved coin. It can go back to the baseball one you have, but it is more affordable than the other options that we well, have. Well, because, because this can 
Infinity Half Dollar is so incredibly so rare. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, it only came from the set. This is the rock star. There's no doubt about this. Right. But this is, you know, this is a pretty important bass player. You got it right over here right. Uh, uh, doing this. And so, so many people wanted just this coin because we've always put them together as two coin sets that are, you know, 279, 399, three, you know, 499, something like that. So what I'm trying to do is give you a set right here that's to just really, you know, right in the wheelhouse of affordability yes. uh, uh, with that. And then adding in the golden dollar. So any of these golden dollars, first day of issue, I mean, you know, uh, you see these out there all the time, 59 69 $79 for this coin, wow. let alone for this coin. So this coin has been immensely, it's the most popular of all the Native American dollars, not even close. Oh, absolutely. Really? 10 times more popular than any of the other Native American dollars. Now put these together as a match numbered pair. And they're perfect. Now put them in perfect. Now make it exclusive to us. Now give you this, like I said, this, this cool box that they come in as well. Right. So you got the great presentation. You got a perfect pair of coins. You got a unique, uh, a unique pair. You got a match numbered pair. You've got a very limited edition on this. It's a because, teeny edition. Because, <laughs> yeah, 586. I mean, a lot of these things where we, you know, we had 1,000, 1,500. We sell them out in a single airing. Right. And then you look at this coin because, and, and this is the reason that this number is so small is because this coin is so hard in the PR7 So you condition. had better luck grading the Native oh, yeah, American yeah, yeah, coin yeah. than you did that this grades, coin. That uh, grades, you know, even though that's a, you know, 59, 69, $79 coin in 70, it's probably five times easier to get this coin in 70 than this coin. Wow, no I, I don't think people, like I said, in the marketplace, this has kind of been the overlooked Apollo coin is the half dollar, uh, and I don't know why, but people have really kind of overlooked that, and I think it's a it's a mistake. I think it's a really hard coin. It's going to continue to be a hard coin. Uh, the government, the way they designed it, it does not lend itself to perfection right. is what the problem is. So to get the perfect piece is, uh, is even more difficult and even more rare, and that's the kind of the whole significance of the 586 in the limited edition exclusive dust. I'm assuming that these uh, are, are selling well. We're probably going to put these in the show tonight, so I'm assuming this is a one and done. So we'll see it today sure. and then today. Yeah, teeny, teeny edition for Mike to do. And again, totally exclusive. So I love it if you're watching, you're like, well, I'm going to go during this break and I'm going to research <clears throat> yeah. it. You will not find this set anywhere else. Coming up, we're going to go back to the Lincoln set, but it's a little special, a little different. In fact, a lot special. Stay with us. Coming up and you're looking to impress your friends, let me show you how to make this beautiful seafood boil using my DuraPan. Let's do seafood for the dinner party. I'm about to set Summer's here, and your favorite HSN hosts are celebrating with their favorite finds, new discoveries, and five flex pay on all their picks. Kick off your summer with HSN's Summer Host Pick Event. Starts tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Don't miss a thing with our HSN app. Get $10 off your first in-app purchase with code WELCOME10. Opt in to push notifications for early access to exclusive app-only deals. Available on Apple and Android devices. My singular goal is to improve the quality of people's lives. Everything we do is intended to be unlike any other company of our kind. We just make exceptional vitamins so you could have exceptional health. It's not important that you get the products I'm offering, but it's very important that you get the information I'm sharing because information is the key to being a healthy person. Shop like a VIP with the HSN credit card. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. As an HSN card member, you'll get all kinds of perks, like extra flex on jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases all day, every day. Plus VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, and there's no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com.
we're talking coin collecting here at HSN. We are the place to get your really interesting collectible coins. And it's a really rare thing. I mean, how often do you turn on television and go, wait a minute, I can buy coins somewhere and get it from a reputable dealer. I think that's really important. We got a nice special set we're gonna talk about, but know who you're buying your coins from. Because I love Mike, he's been here for a long time. He says it's the wild west out there. And oh, with yeah. the advent of the internet, it's more wild than ever oh. before. So make sure you're really shopping with a very yeah, reputable and, and, dealer. You know, look around, but, but, but you have to be careful. I mean, you, you really have to be careful out yeah. there, folks. More under, so under, than ever. There's lots of counterfeits out there. You, you have to deal with someone that you trust, okay? Because even, uh, uh, there's just so many, so many issues that can happen. So like, even when I sell certified coins, I'm the one that certified them. Right. Okay, I'm the one that certified them. I bought the coins, I sent these into Annex, I got them back, so the, uh, the chain of You're custody. You're not a third party. Exactly, right. the chain of custody is, is, is controlled from beginning to end. Any time that coins kind of get out of your possession, there's things that can happen. That's all I'm gonna say. There's things that can happen. You'd be amazed at what goes on out there. So, you know, you buy from somebody that you trust. And that's why, you know, I've been here for almost 20 years now. Yeah. Uh, and, and coins have been here at, at HSM. Believe it or not, they sold coins before I got here, mm -hmm. uh, uh, even. So, I mean, I've been selling coins from the very beginning here at, at HSM. And I think that's important for you to understand that there's just nobody. We're the longest continuously running coin show uh, uh, in, in, in history is ultimately what it comes down to. Right. Uh, and I've been selling coins longer than anybody else mm -hmm. on, on the air mm -hmm. uh, is, is really what it comes, and there's a reason for that. And, and so that's how you end up with a set like this. Right. This set is exclusive to us. So you, you can only get it from, from HSN. That's important. I want you to try to understand the historical significance of these coins. The United States government has been making the Lincoln cent since 1909. Now, I oftentimes say the most popularly collected coin is the state quarters, and that by sheer numbers, that's probably the case, uh, uh, or the Kennedy half dollar. But in terms of a uh, of pure kind of number of fanatic collectors, the Lincoln cent's probably the leader. You know, there, there, there's an argument between any of those coins, but the Lincoln cent, and simply through longevity. I mean, you know, the state quarters were 99 through 2009, right. okay? And the Kennedy half dollar was 64 days. They started making the Lincoln penny in 1909, right. okay? It started out in controversy when Victor uh, D. Brennan put his initials on the coin. People didn't like that. The 1909 SVDB, he had to take his initials off. It became one of the great American rarities. So they've made trillions, or certainly at least a trillion Lincoln cents. Billions and billions and hundreds and billions. In of every billions. form, in, in every manner, form, every in form your pocket. and fashion and <laughs> mints and all this and all that. The West Point Mint has been relatively significant in American history for decades and decades now. They had never made a Lincoln cent ever. Never had a West Point Mint mark ever appeared on a Lincoln cent in a hundred and what do you got? A hundred and eleven years of the Lincoln cent. Until this year, the United States government decides to put a West Point mint mark on three <laughs> special Lincoln cents. And they didn't do just one, too, no. which is interesting. They did a proof coin, they did a reverse proof coin, and they did a mint state coin. And they did all three of those coins. Uh, they put this with the proof set. You can't buy these coins. You have to buy something else, okay? Uh, uh, to this get is, to that To penny. get to this penny. Yeah. This is the proof. This came with the proof set. Reverse proof, it came with the silver proof set. This is the mint set coin, uh, a mint state coin, and it came with the mint set. So you had to buy all of those sets to get these coins. And then you had to take the coins and have them certified. Certification on these coins has been, has been a nightmare. Explain why. Uh, there's just no high grades. Right. But why? I, I mean, I had, like <laughs> these, the proof coin, which should be the easiest coin to get in 70, we had a few of them that we sold out for $249. They're all gone. Right. Uh, first day of issue, that's gone. I mean, I have no more of those coins. The reverse proof on these, I forget what we sold out, uh, uh, the 70s on those. This was the easiest coin to get in 70. I think we only sold that in 70 for 129 or 149 or 159. Sold out, of course. Right. Uh, this coin right here in first day of issue, SP69, we sold out every single solitary 
military one of those and I don't even have any 70s right now with this. Right. So this is the highest grade. I don't even have any. I've not offered any 70s. The only ones I've seen is there's some Minstate 70s and NGC that are $10,000. <laughs> the Minstate 69s, the SP69s in NGC or PCGS, uh, uh, first day of issue are $200 uh, minimum. <laughs> For just wow. this coin, $200 wow. for this coin. I'm $189.95 for all three coins. This historic coin set, this is the entire catalog, the entire library. This is the entire collection of every West Point mint marked Lincoln cent ever made in the history of the United States mint. And it comes in a red oak presentation box. Now, the United States government, has made trillions, I think, at least a trillion, but certainly billions and billions and billions and billions of Lincoln cents. Even some of the great rarities in the Lincoln cent are, you know, 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, 500,000 mintage. Anything less than, than a billion these days becomes relatively rare. The sum total of all of the mintage of all of these coins right now combined is less than 500,000. You're kidding. As we speak. Wow. So you've got a phenomenally rare, or right at 500,000, and, and it changes. As they sell, because you have to buy a proof set, you have to buy a silver proof set, and you have to buy a mint, mint set, set to yeah. be able to do that. So you add those up, and it's about 500,000. So there's about, you know, this is the rarest one right here. So there's about 120,000 of these, and 220,000 of these, and 120,000 of these. So it's about 500,000 total coins. Wow. Now, if you look at some of those things, so if you look at that at basically being 250,000 a coin, that's nothing for what amounts to one of the most historically numismatically significant coins ever made by the United States government, and certainly one of the most historic trios ever made by the United States government. So now you have got this set that is absolutely positively incredible. I've got it in its highest affordable grade. I could do it in 70, but I'm going to have to be probably $1,000 or $1,500 or $2,000 or I don't even know. I don't even have any 70s yeah, to do this. If I did it in NGC, uh, it would be $12,000. If I did this in PCGS in 70, in PCGS it would be $15,000. Who knows? I don't even think a PCGS 70 mint state coin exists. Right. Now I'm putting it in a Red Oak presentation box that's $49 and I, or $30. $39.95 for the Red Oak presentation box. So now you're basically down to 50 bucks a coin. This coin, like I said, first day of issue, NGC, PCGs, you can't find it for less than 200, it's 50 bucks. This one right here, 69, I mean, you know, that's gonna be 60 to $80, because that's the easiest one, and this one's a little bit more than that, but this is the coin. You can't find in first day of issue this coin in 69 for $189.95 for PCGs. Just this one. Just that one let alone in a red oak presentation box with the reverse proof and with the proof coin. As a collectible, how significant is having all three in one family? Well, I mean, that's the, that's the thing. That's the whole deal. Like I said, that's, that's the, the entire library. That's the beginning and the end. Yes, that's the life's work of the West Point <laughs> Mint in the, uh, in, in the Lincoln Penny set. Uh, if you tried to put together a complete set of Philadelphia minted Lincoln cents in 69, if their uh, set existed, I don't know, what would it be? $50 million, $75 million, who knows? Almost none of the coins exist in in 69. Right. Okay? If you try to put together a Denver minted set, a Philadelphia minted set, an uncirculated set, it'd be millions of dollars. Highest grade would be a million dollars at least. If you want to put together a proof set of Lincoln cents, it would be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars in its top grade. Right. But you can get the complete West Point minute set for $189.95. <laughs> right. You know, in its highest affordable grade. Uh, 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 and it's the first time it's ever been done. Yes. Which and is so significant. First day of issue, match number set is, of course, exclusive to us here at HSN. That's right. You cannot find this so anywhere else. you cannot else. buy this. So it's not like, I mean, I could have made this 289 I mean, based on the fact that this is, I mean, I could have right. easily done 299 on this, and I'd be, uh, I'd still be kind of below market on it. At 189.95, we're significantly, significantly below market. There you go. Well, you can see what we sold. Yeah. So there's 568 sold out of the 17. So there's only 1,200 left. Actually, only about 1,100 and change left. I got a big primetime show tonight. Right. 8 to 10 p.m. And you know what happens in prime time? I mean, it gets a little crazy out there in prime time. Right. So what I'm assuming is with everything that I'm have maybe a thousand sets. Right. I'll have maybe a thousand sets Going when we get into to the prime, prime time. Show. That's yeah. right. And so now I got the three coin set in the prime time that we're going to have uh, that we're going to have here that I think is is critically critically important for you to be able to have this. And and I can't impress upon you enough how important a complete mint mark set is. And the fact is, is this isn't like starting a West Point minted set. Right. This is a one year only 
opportunity. How do you know they're not going to do it again? Well, they have. They've said. They said this, this is just. This they're is just doing it this year. Really they're just doing a special. Historically significant. One done. We're out. Right. And then you'd have to buy all those sets individually get them all graded, and then hope to goodness they all come so back So you're going to have to buy a proof set, you're going to buy a half, buy a silver proof set, and you're going to have to buy a mint set. set. So that's going to be 90, uh, that's going to be $120 roughly, $125 for the sets. Right. Then, you, ha you know, and you'd have to buy to get a, a 69 here, and a 69 here, you're going to have to buy at least 10 sets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now you're about 1200 bucks. Right. And, and then you got to have 30 coins certified, and so th that's 1000 bucks. Right. You know, so so now you're you're 2000 into trying to get your your 69. And you still set. don't know. <laughs> and then you still got to come by the <coughs> the Red Oak presentation box from me. Right, exactly. <coughs> and, and just Excuse me for $39.95. And I think this is so important when they're gone, they're gone, they're gone. And you know, you say, "Oh, you know, I'll come back, we'll have more." No, you cannot because this is a limited edition and when you see that number and again, this is exclusive to HSN. It's <laughs> exclusive to Mike, when you see that number right there, 1,776, when that's done, it never happens again. So again, that really adds to its collectability, it adds to its rarity, because you just can't find them anymore. You'd only be secondary market if you could find them. Mike cannot produce anymore. This is what he's created, and then put that moniker on it, and it's finished, it's done, and it's over with. And at this point, as you mentioned, we'll be under 1,000 going into tonight's show. Right. So it's a great opportunity. I know it's the wee hours here in the east coast but for those of you in the bit you know the mid central and out in the west coast it's still you know what around midnight ish and it's a really awesome opportunity because you might miss tonight's show you might not make it in time and then all of a sudden you're like oh my you know what people do which i love is they watch tonight and they research it throughout the day and then when they go to buy it, it's sold out. It's 100%. I'm then totally everybody does this. They go, oh, dang, gone. That really was a good thing. <laughs> and, and then and it's And I want to give everybody out. a heads up for the show tonight. Yeah. Our 50 years of proof sets. You and I have sold yes. the big, the wall of yes, coins. Yes, the wall of coins. We have it at the lowest price we've ever done it at. I mean, not tied. I mean, the low, $100 less than we've ever sold the set for in all of the decades that and I've been here. And it's 50 years. And it's 50 years of proof sets. That'll be tonight, so you gotta tune in for that, okay? There so I just wanna give you a heads up. Or, that was um, like a huge deal. That was like a huge deal. And let me give you an insider scoop. Go to hsn.com yes. and look up 50 years of, what is it? Proof sets. Proof sets. And you can pick it up right now if you want to. <laughs> I wouldn't wait till tonight, to be honest with you, but if you want to see it, that's going to be on 8 o'clock East Coast time, we're, right? We're just so busy. I'm just going to give some people yeah, just, an opportunity just to catch FYI. up. I, because this is such a significant set. Yeah. As a subset, I'm also doing tonight, I have just the proof pair in PCGS. If you go to hsn.com. You can find that. Really? I have just the proof pair. Uh, 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 69, but not the trio. No, not the trio. No, and no, no. this is the only This is the only trio. way I'm doing the trio. Yeah. Right. This okay, is the only way I'm it, doing the trio. Yeah. It is like this. And, and nothing is graded higher than what you're seeing in what you've found. No, the, the PCGS coins we're doing are both 69s, okay? Right. Uh, that we oh, have, okay, we got have, it. We have the, the proof pair. So okay. there's two coins that were proof. We have proof and reverse proof. So I did that as a separate pair, and we were able to get some PCGS in that. that this coin, no. Gotcha. Because, I mean, this coin, like I said, a PCGS, this coin by itself is... One ninety nine, two ninety nine. I don't know. Isn't this great? Something like that. First right. day of like issue. If you got rid of all these, yeah, not an annex, that would be almost two hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. All, all day long. And like I said, the PC just I'll sell those out. We had like four or five hundred of those. Mm. Other pairs, I think they're eighty nine ninety five for these two. Oh, okay. 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 So that would make this a hundred plus the box sixty <laughs> bucks. So uh, it's just that, that's not impossible. So I guarantee this is eighty nine ninety five. Right, okay, right. and so now you're you're ninety nine dollars for this coin in SP sixty nine with a forty dollar box. So you're basically fifty nine dollars and ninety five cents for this coin, which is just ridiculous. Right. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, to be able to get that coin. So this is that. the most significant coin of the set. There's no doubt. In grade, they're all significant. Right. The rarest of the coins will be the reverse proof. Really? There's no doubt. This will be the least made. And here's the reason. Remember, they come as bonuses with sets. What's the most expensive set? The silver proof set. Oh, of course. Okay. Right. They make less, a lot they, less they of those. Ma They make a lot less of the sets, so they make a lot less of these pennies. Right, okay. Right. They make they make the most of these, and then followed by this and this. This one is is rare because of the condition. Right. They're going to make more of these, but they're very much more difficult to get in high grade. These uh, uh, because uh, there's less of those, but they tend to grade grade the best. <laughs> this is kind of the, the dark horse of the whole series, if you will, uh, because that'll be the second most popular, but the second hardest to get in. Grade. So, you right. know, you do 
do that little algorithm any way you want to do that. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, we're going to give you all three of them and you can save the math. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Just know, and again, here's what's going to happen. A lot of people, they watch and they, they go, oh my gosh, that sounds great. I'm going to go on the internet. I'm going to do my research. And I appreciate that. I get it. But here's what I can tell you right now. I have it available. It is, when it's gone, it's gone. It's completely sold out. Unfortunately, when it's sold out, you don't have another opportunity. You will not have another opportunity. Like, it's too funny. Over the 15 years Mike and I have worked together, uh, there's been points in the 15 years where I go, gosh, I probably should have bought that set when we sold it. Or, boy, that was a good coin. Why didn't I think about it then? And that's true with any of these limited editions, you know? Very special, very unusual. And think about it. Of a history of making cents and pennies, you know, this is the first time it's ever been done at West Point Mint. And having all three together, it's like trying to find three rookie baseball cards of those great players that are in perfect, well, almost perfect condition, and you found them all together. Like, that's nearly impossible to put together. Yeah, Does like, that make sense? Yeah, like you get the Mickey Mantle in 1952 yeah. Tops, okay, okay and then and get the Babe, Babe Ruth, Ruth 1933 Gowdy. Okay, well, the third it, one would be, The third one would be, oh, who would we have to put in there? Willie Mace, I think 55 tops, right. if I'm not mistaken. That'd be like finding those three. Yeah, yeah, and if you do those three in a PSA 9, great, because they do great at coins, that'd probably only set you back... I don't know, a million bucks. Oh, well, you know, yeah, that's it. Like that. <laughs> so, yeah, no but, baseball cards. But really too, so. think about it that way. I think a lot of us, we, we understand baseball cards a little bit better many times than coins if you're not a collector. But think about it this way. When you get these three incredibly rare mm -hmm. scents that they've done one mm -hmm. time, and they're only going to do it one time only. Yes. That's, and, and that so, be, to be so able to So it's like a rookie that. card and no second year, third year, fourth year, a rookie card only. Yeah, so, right, so, uh, right. So, so you have this, uh, uh, this thing. And then it's such a significant set because it's Lincoln Sense. And understand, they've only done two reverse proof Lincoln Sense in history. <coughs> so this is oh, rare well, by, by the fact that, that you know, that's just the, third the, one, the finish right? of these right. is, is a big deal. Now you have put the West Point Mints on. So let me put it in, in a different way. The very first time they put a West Point Mint mark on a Silver Eagle was in 1995. Okay. Point, in 1995. 1995 in the 10th okay. anniversary set. Okay. Okay. They did 31,000 of those, but that That's coin a very small in addition. this grade is about, what did I sell for? 8,000 bucks. A 69? A 69, sure, because the last 70 I sold here was 30,000. 29.99, Oh my gosh. Yeah. So in 69, that's a, that's a, you know, I don't know, seven to 10,000, let's call it. I mean, I don't even have one. Oh, so uh, uh, that's the first time they did a West Point Mint. Now they've continued the West Point. So now you have the first proof, the first for first proof, the first Mint State. Oh, by the way, we're not doing them anymore. So now you have the first three just like this. And I remember, I mean, in 1995, when that coin sold out and it came out, I mean, it was, what was it? 400 bucks, because it came with a gold coin. Oh, Came with a one-ounce gold coin. No kidding. So, I mean, yeah, yeah. Back then, I mean, it was a $50, $60, $60 coin. Mm. I mean, you know, 1995, nobody paid any attention to it. Well, pay attention to it. Right, okay, right. pay attention to it. I guess <laughs> yeah. is what I'm telling now's you Now's the moment. <laughs> right, yeah, now's your time. And Josh, remember, again, he's got a primetime show coming up tonight. The last remaining quantity will be in that show. And then most likely it's going to be sold out in that show as well. And you get the Red Oak presentation box to go along with it, which is just absolutely beautiful. All of that for you right now while you can get it. And by the way, we have four flex bays, which after this month, I mean, it's going to be gone, but even if we were to offer anything like it, the four flex won't be available next month because everything has four flex on it uh, during this month. It's kind of a fun summer celebration. Hey, by the way, if you do not have our HSN card, I would suggest that you get it because right now, if you had it, we would add an extra flex to all the great flex we're offering right now, which means on our next item, you'd have five flex versus four. If you don't have the card, you get $10 off when you apply and you buy that very first item. It's our way of saying thank you. You're going to enjoy the card and thanks for joining us. But what you don't understand is all the goodies that become available once you have the card. And quite frankly, the majority of things that happen for, to card holders, we don't get to talk about on the air. There's so many cool things that goes on that we don't have time to talk about. But if you don't have our card, you can apply online and check it out right now if you'd like to. All right, Mike, you ready to do the Lowell Historic, or historic Park Quarter? Let's yeah, let's do that. that. All right, let's do it. What makes this one really interesting? Uh, once again, it, it seems to be the year of the West Point Mint. Uh, the West Point Mint Mart. They've been busy. Well, they've been busy. Uh, like I said, the United States government has done some cool stuff this year. They've, they've uh, you know, they've hit a couple out of the park. This is another one of those that they've uh, done absolutely spectacularly on. Uh, it is, it, it's, it's amazing. So, the United States government 
decided to try to make, part of their thing is, <clears throat> is they want to make coin collecting, I guess, more broad-based. You know, and the fact is we use less and less coins, so I mean, you know, sure. it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's a hard thing to do. So what they decided to do uh, uh, is they decided to make, when I was a kid growing up for years and years and years, searching through your coins was a thing. Mm -hmm. You know, because you could always find wheat cents, you could find mercury dimes, you could find Indian head pennies, you could always find some rare dates. Well, those are all gone. And none of the modern issue stuff, the regular issue coins, are really worth anything much more than the change. There's no intrinsic value to it, there's no silver coins left. I mean, they don't even make, they don't yeah. even put copper and pennies anymore. It's not really special. Okay, yeah, it's not even that. Uh, 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 so, so it's just manganese and brass and, and all that other stuff. So it's nothing special. So people don't look at their change anymore. I mean, there's a couple of guys out there that look for bizarre error coins and so on and so forth, but it's not a thing. So the government decides to make it a thing. And so, uh, 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 what was it, about a year ago, a bunch of coin, coin dealers got together and we decided with Coin Week this, this year to do what we call the Great American Treasure Hunt. And so what a bunch of coin dealers and a bunch of coin dealers did is they took kind of some old or rare or unique coins, you know, some, you know, nice day, and we just released coins into circulation. We literally just spent, went and spent rare coins. The government releases this coin in conjunction with that. They put a West Point mint mark on it. They'd never done a West Point mint mark quarter before. This is the very first time. Mm -hmm. All of the quarters that they make are Philadelphia or Denver Mint or San Francisco Mint proof coins in the, in the proof sets, but they've never done any West Point Minted coins. So not only did they do them, but they're not available for sale anywhere. They release them into circulation. <laughs> So, you so have now to the find, hunt is on. You have to literally find Like you're find in the grocery it. store line. You literally have to find them. Looking at your corners. Them. Because if you find one of these coins, now we have 67, which is the highest available grade. There's no 68s out there. Okay, so we have the highest available grade. And understand, since they're released into circulation, they're going to get high grade. banged up. <laughs> high grade's very, very difficult. Plus we have what's called early discovery. So this was discovered in the first 30 days of, of oh, since cool. they released them. So we have the highest grade early discovery, and that's why it's 179. Now. Look for, look at your Lowell quarters. If you find one with a West Point Mint, it's worth basically 20 bucks. It's like finding a $20 bill in your chain. Just even if I'm in the grocery store no, line I and I find one the, with a West Point Mint, it's, it's worth 20, $20. It's worth 20 bucks. Okay, <laughs> so look so at your quarters. Look at your quarters. Well, that's the point. That's what they want to do. That's why we're calling this the Great American Coin Hunt. The Great American Treasure Hunt is what this is right here in conjunction with, like I said, National Coin Week, which was a couple weeks ago. And like I said, dealers, we released, I don't know, probably a couple thousand bucks. I, I, I don't know the exact value. A couple thousand bucks worth of rare coins into circulation. We just sent people out and spent them. And, that's so cool. And, and dealers did it all over the country. We weren't the only people. I mean, literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dealers just put stuff out there. <laughs> you know, Lincoln cents, you know, they put some Indian head pennies out there, you know, kind of all those things just to make people look at their change. And the government did that as well. They, you know, they kind of, they, they kind of uh, piggybacked onto that effort. Uh, uh, that so who did you find that found these? Well, so people were, were someone had got a bag of like 500,000 quarters directly from the mint and they literally had a team of people search through them and pull out oh, some of the West Point minted coins. Pick out the one yeah. they, they uh, had to, they and this had is a pallet. You'd need like a forklift for this. Like they had to search for them too. Sure. Just like we would. Yeah, just like everybody does. <laughs> and, and they had to buy, you know, and what they, they did is they bought $50,000 worth of quarters. <laughs> they oh said, go to the bank, hey, can I have 50 grand worth of quarters? And they got some They got some West Point Minute quarters. It's the only way to get them. That's you can't crazy. go buy them. You That's have to literally funny. pick them out, whether it's out of your change, out of a roll, out of a bag. It doesn't matter how it is. You've got to find the quarters. <laughs> that's okay? really cool. And they're doing it for all five quarters this year. This is the first one. Okay. And so that's what this coin is. Now, the key to this is not just the West Point Mint mark, which is really cool when it comes to this, but the real key to this is the grade on this coin. Yeah. You go out there and do anything you want. Go try to find you a Mint State 67 W minted Lowell quarter. Okay, uh, I found an NGC and a PCGS. I think the lowest price NGC was two thousand dollars, and the PCGS was twenty four hundred for sixty seven. For sixty sevens, yeah, same thing as as the sixty wow. sevens. Uh, uh, there was a couple of we have some PCGS sixty sixes for two hundred and forty nine dollars that are almost sold out. Well, then out. how can this be one seventy nine? We just had a, a great deal on on a limited quantity of these coins. It's just the way that it works, how it comes in, right? It, it is really what it comes down to, because you know the prices vary on this depending on when it was bought and you know because the prices on these are widely variable in grade 
Right. You know, any coin is like $20 to $25 if it has that West Point min mark. Check your change, folks. Get out there and look for them. They put them out there. And like I said, I think they're going to do, I mean, they're going to do a fair number of them. I mean, they're going to really? do maybe you know, like a million coins. Oh, but you, they do so like, odds are you could find a couple, Oh, but maybe. they do like... 700 million quarters. Oh, you're kidding. So, yeah, yeah. So, it's not like there's, I mean, it's one in a thousand. <laughs> okay, you know, gotcha. Now, keep in mind, the $20 coins are not going to be min state 67. Right. If you found it in your change, it's no, it's probably min state 63, min state 64. Right. You get that certified, it's probably a $59 coin or a $79 coin. What you have is a unique opportunity to get a very few, and only the early release or early discovery coins are going to be min state 67. Because right, all you, the rest will get beat up. Yeah, they'll, they'll get beat up pretty quick, <laughs> is ultimately what it that comes down really to. Neat. Yeah, isn't that neat? And we've done a feature price And when, price when on you it. say low, 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 low. Yeah, that's just the name of the quarter. Oh, it doesn't matter yeah, yeah. what this image is. Well, it, it does. This is the Lowell, Massachusetts quarter from the National Parks quarters. Oh, gotcha. Okay, yeah, so but it has to have the W mark. I'm just helping West people Point start digging the quarter. through the quarters. Okay. <clears throat> It's not, they've been doing the National Parks Quarter since yes. 2010. Right. Okay, we're at the end of that, okay? This is, they're doing it only for the 2019s, and the Lowell, Massachusetts okay, Quarter, it. which is what this quarter is, right. is the very first one that they've released West Point Mint Mark. So, West Point so they're going to do four all more. of the quarters for this year. They're doing like the, uh, 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 what do we have? We have like the Maritime Islands, the War in the Pacific, that'll be a West Point Mint. We have the San Antonio Missions coin. When that comes out, that'll be a West Point Mint. So the five National Parks quarters from this year will all end up with W mint marks. So we have to look for the W's. Yeah, have to okay, look for the you. W's. All right, got and it. only and it's only in 2019 coins, so it doesn't go back. It's not the 2000. Right, right. So it's only so you look 2019. Look for the W. <laughs> uh, uh, just keep doing Hang that. Like I said, it. it's like literally finding twenty dollar bills. That's crazy. It is really what it comes down to. Very very cool. Well, and the reason but I knew this is, is, like, is, is but high I do something funny. I, this is the reason this is funny is because Mike goes. I was in the grocery store line. They gave me change back, and I go, "Did you look?" He goes, "Heck yes, I looked." <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's like printing $20 bills if I can find them. <laughs> have you found one in your change yet? Not yet, no. Uh -huh. I've not found one. You haven't. And okay. I've been looking. Yeah, I'm sure. Like yeah. there's, and it's funny because I think once more people become aware that this is happening, because really, you all, I only know this is because Mike brought it on the air. The first one we did was a couple weeks ago. And I'm like, really? They're even doing a whole series like this? And then once it starts gaining that traction and people really start hunting for them, that's well, just uh, a cool well, story. Like I was at the bank today doing some banking business. I had to move some stuff around. And do all this, and I'm going. You know, why don't you give me a roll of quarters? And so I'm just going through the quarters while they're while they're doing my uh, <laughs> my deposit really? transfer. Sure. <laughs> But no, no lulls. I'm, no, there was no lulls. Oh, darn it. But I'm going to look. Yeah. No, wait, can I ask you another question? Just because I think this is fascinating. Yeah. When do we know they release into circulation the other four? Like, when, how well, do they well, announce they're that? They're about to release the next quarter. But uh, they do, So I think um, that's out. That may be out right now, as a matter of fact. Really? So those, no will, those will start showing start up. Start hunting. <laughs> so any 2019 quarter, it'll say National 2019. Park quarter. National Park Well, they're all National Parks quarters from 2019. Right. It's only National Park quarters. Right. So you have to find well, a 2019 quarter. And then you look for the W mint mark. Okay, got it. So you'll under you'll you'll know this. So you, you have like I said, you have Lowell, Massachusetts. You have San Antonio missions. You have War in the Pacific. You've got yeah, yeah Mariana Islands, and I forget the fifth one escapes me right now. Okay. Uh, uh, but there's five quarters, five National Parks quarters that are released this year. All of them will have West Point mint marks on them. Okay, at yeah. some point, look for them. Well, they're like like I said, like finding twenty dollar bills. But <laughs> what you won't find is mint state sixty seven. Yeah. So <clears throat> you know, hunt for them out there yourself. I mean, that's a cool thing. But for collectors to be able to get this thing that is the best of the best, you know what I'm saying? You want uh, you, that, you have to get them in state 67. And in terms of pure value, pure collectability, you're just not going to beat this price at $179. Like I said, whether you go to PCGS or NGC, you're looking at, I found an Annex coin. It wasn't early discovery. It wasn't our label. I think they wanted $800 or $900 for oh something goodness. like that. Wow. Uh, uh, like I said, the PCGS and NGCs are a couple thousand bucks. So, you know, highest grade, lowest price is what we've got here. It is, and this is, the high, there are no 68s, Annex or otherwise. So I've seen, there's no Min State 68s that I've seen in any way, shape, or form, whether it be Annex, 69s, 70s. NGCs, no, 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 no 70s, no 69s, no 68s. Okay. <coughs> wow. 67 is the highest available grade. So that is what we call a registry coin. You know, people do registry sets, which is the highest grade of every date and mint mark ever done uh, by the United States Mint. So this would be a registry coin, huh. is what we're uh, uh, talking about that. People fight about that. Do you think you'll have any chance of being able to pull off all five at the end of the year yeah, in I will. 67? Uh, yeah, well, uh, that I, I can't tell you that. I don't know. Because I don't asking. know how the other coins are going to rate. We'll right, put some right. of these away. Right, right, right. To see if you can do that. <laughs>
All right, so here we go. You want to change it out real quick to the sure. 66? Yep, and this is just show, this just shows you how important grade is. One one point changes One it. point grade. Yeah. Okay, one point of, of grade is 80 bucks. That's crazy. Okay? I mean, right. that's the import. So here's Mint State 66 and $99.90. So now I just want a West Point Minted quarter. <laughs> okay, it has been, say, 66, so now it's $99. So that's the difference that grade people always say, so what's the difference that makes 66, 67? Well, right there, 100 bucks. Yeah, that's uh, a lot. Is, is in essence what it is. It matters a lot. Now, let's say I got a min state 68. Now you'd add at least a zero on to the 67 price. So it goes from 179 to probably 2,000 in a min state 68. Wow. Roughly right. uh, is what's going to happen. Min state 66, you're at $99. If I have a min state 65, that's probably probably down to $59 or $69. The lowest price certified, regardless of grade, is probably going to be $49. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. So and if you just find one in your change, for 99 bucks, yeah. you got a 20 basically right then. All right, here's what we're going to do. Valerie's taking over next. Thank you, Mike, for hanging out. We'll see you at 8 p.m. Tonight. tonight. Go to .com to see the rest of the collection. All right, well, the summertime is definitely upon us. I don't know about you, where you were last night. Did you get invited to someplace outdoors to enjoy drinks and barbecue? And then what happens? You're like, oh my gosh, the mosquitoes, the bugs, they're all just kind of like attacking you. Um, we are so excited because we are launching the only today's special from Dynatrap. And uh, there it is right there. This is gonna be so exciting because guess what? We're gonna get rid of all of those predatory bugs that are attacking you when you're trying to eat and drink and have a merry time.